Hey guys, it's Spooksy here again with another video. On my last video and my currently most popular, I had a lot of comments say that they didn't draw fat people because they didn't know how. The most common reason they cite is, I'm thin, therefore I don't know how to draw fat people. But that's not really the reason why. The reason you can draw thin people easier is because you've been exposed to thin people in the media more. I'm black and I had to teach myself how to draw black people because I didn't see any references or examples in the media that I enjoy. Most minority groups teach themselves how to draw themselves. It's not inherent. But I'm guessing since you're here, you're ready to teach yourself and learn something new. That's great! So without further ado, let's learn how to draw fat people. The first step to learning how to draw anything is to find references of the thing you want to draw. Pinterest is one of your best bets for that. Some people post references on DeviantArt, but I, I haven't been there in a long time. If you don't use a reference, you will risk really goofing up your proportions. When I first started drawing fat bodies, they were either very short or very tall. So it's important that if you have a more stylized art style, you understand it enough to keep it consistent. Now I'm going to switch over to my laptop so you guys can see a screen recording of me explaining what to do. Prepare yourselves for an ultimate quality drop. Okay. Um, we got shapes. Yep. So we're going to draw a, I'm going to draw a skinny person and then I'm going to draw a bigger person next to him just to like have a control group so you can see what I do differently and what I keep the same. Okay. So now I'm going to draw the, let me do another layer the plus size person next to this person and I'm this is just something you do to, if you're new try to be aware of the proportions because you know, let me just do an example let me do an example of what happens when you don't oops when you don't look up you're gonna draw a head like you usually do because this is exactly what I do so I know okay and you're going to draw you're gonna do this that is on the off chance they just give them a normal neck. Either they'll have like a neck that is too thin for their body and it looks kind of unbalanced. And they'll be like this and you just won't know where to stop. Like, well, let me do a boob here. Oh, and that gets her legs here. And I guess that's it. And then now they're no longer human. What the heck is that? And I see this all the time. I saw this in the last video I made. No shade, no shade. But like they make them huge. And it's like, bro, I just, <laughs> no shade, no shade. And it's like, bro, you're not, you're not doing it right. You're not doing it right. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a lot of comments to say this. I got a lot of comments in the last video, like, obesity is not healthy. Okay, yeah, I know. Okay, guys, you don't gotta tell me that. Um, just because obesity isn't healthy doesn't mean you're allowed to be mean to people who are overweight. Like, that, that's all I was saying. I don't like to be rude. Good. Oh, this is a medical term. Yes, I get it. Okay. I just don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Like, oh, well, yeah, their, lung, their heart disease is going to hurt their feelings more. Bro, chill. Like, jeez. You guys think you're got gosh darn PhDs or something. Okay, I'm going to look this because obviously this is not going anywhere. This looks like not good, right? This doesn't look good. So that's why this method of like leveling it out. Is superior. It is the superior method. So draw the head and um, erase the head. It looks awful. Here's the top. I actually read an art and just knowing the differences. I think I read an article and it said like you, when you gain weight, you get taller. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look at this stuff right now. Okay. okay. I can't find anything. So I'm. My laptop died. You guys still even hear me? Is it still recording? So anyway, I'm gonna draw the top of the head here. I looked up an article about whether fat people uh, get taller when they gain weight, and it, it says correlation is not causation. So you can have like a rounder face if you want. It depends. Like it depends on what size, like character, you're going for. You know what I mean? Like if you're drawing a character that's a lot, like maybe I don't know. I don't want to say sizes. I don't want to call nobody out. If you're drawing a character that looks like the plus size model, her face would be significantly less. Um, like full compared, of course it's compared to jeans, so you couldn't be skinny on a full face. But I just mean in terms of being consistent and making sure it looks all together. And if your character is just slightly overweight, like probably looking 
wouldn't look like that they have that much extra gain on their face. Um, if they were very, very overweight, then of course you could see it fuller in their face. I'm gonna do a character that is just like about like the same size that Z fixes are. That's like the popular size. And they make someone a little chubby to make them like Yeah, anyway guys, let's let's be nice to people. Let's not be mean. Okay, and then there's a really hip friend. This is why it's important to label it because if I didn't, look how it's already going off model. If I wasn't like gritting myself on this. Your shoulders are here, not down here. These are where the hips should be. Your little hip line. This also depends on like which shape they are. Obviously, there's a lot of difference between you know thinner people that are different shapes, but there's like huge difference between like bigger people that are bigger shapes. It's because the differences are more exaggerated. So here we have the hips here, little line. You can give her a more belly if you want to. It's all up to you. I don't think I explained this very well. <laughs> Looking back, this is probably not a good explanation because I just kind of freehanded it. Let me do that again better. And this is going to be an actual beginner guide this time, not like, I'm not going to pro through it. So, um, shapes. That's a big thing. If you want her to have, look at that, look at that, look at that. Now this is more of an, a plus size, you know, a lot of ovals. Now you don't have to use ovals, but I just think this is easy to see the shape. I'll do the same post. You see the shape of the character, and you can move from there. You can, now you can trace over that. You know, give a little, a little roll. Nothing wrong with that. Now just one or two. Okay, let me fix those legs. Those little are fucked. Oh, oh. <laughs> editing that out. Um, I don't, I don't want to get demonetized. So I don't want to give anybody a reason to not give me that sweet, sweet cash. See, this is where the foot's supposed to end, and it would have gone longer. So it's easier to like make them bigger than you mean to. At least for me. Give me a little, you know, a little mean fat things you see often. Okay, so there we go. We have a plus size character. Now let's do let's do another one. We can handle that. So this time we're gonna see this is more of a like kind of straight. Let's try zoom out. Okay. Let's more of a straight. Let's try um a pear. Let's do green. Green for pear. And the pear will be like a heavier Heavier bottom part and a smaller top part. Um, and then we'll do the opposite, which was maybe a big belly. Let me do this first. I'm getting ahead of myself. And don't forget to also, like I said, references, references, references. I didn't feel like putting anything on the screen. But yeah, even tracing, because I, I used to do that. I don't post traced art, but like we're just trying to get a feel for how the lines would look. Trace a, a real image, like an image of a bigger person, like a, on Pinterest. Trace it on your drawing program or in your life. I'll just finish these people up and we'll be good to go. I'm going to do some casual line out on all of them. Make them look pretty. And if you're a bigger gal, you're allowed to draw yourself without people being mean. Come on, guys. You got like overweight kids on here. Maybe, I don't know. What if overweight kids are watching this? Or young ones. They're gonna, they're gonna see their mean, their mean comments and they're gonna feel sad. Like, I'm not doing this, like, I'm not trying to be not mean for like grown people. I'm trying to be not mean for like the kids. Because I'm not out here to. Make somebody, a kid feel bad about themselves, essentially. Like, who wants that, right? Who wants to do something like that? Not I. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, Otaku can't be fat because she has an eating disorder. That is valid. That is a valid point. But what's not a valid point is like, they're superheroes. They, they superheroes are fit and they're not going to be like fat and stuff. Like, first of all, it's not real. Like, if, and like, except fat gum, like the fact that you're already having exceptions just proves how, how unreal it is. Like, you, you're able to say, okay, he can sweat nitroglycerin, he can eat hair and get Superman's powers, he can, like, fucking, I don't know, pull balls out of his head, but being overweight while doing superhero work, that is where I cross the line in realism. I mean, it's valid to say, I don't, I want these characters to look, like, I want to find them attractive, like, because there's still soft designs, because if, if you, if you can design characters that are conventionally attractive but still super unique designs, I'm hella for it. You know what I mean? I'm so for that. 
if your characters are getting re repetitive and redundant because you only know how to draw uh, appeal and design in one way, I'll make a eight minute video about you. <laughs> oh god. I say something about like One Piece fanboys. I'm not talking about people who like casually watch the show or just watch it and like maybe look at fan art or something. I'm talking about like that's their whole life. It's just One Piece. I made that video. Some fanboys were like, okay, chill. I disagree, but okay. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. But some of them absolutely lost their goddamn minds, okay? Like, holy crap. They're like, ah. They, like, and they, so much grammar errors. Like, buddy, are you are you fucking illiterate? What? Why can't you write? <laughs> Over here watching One Piece, how do you even read the subtitles? Like, I'm impressed, honestly. And I'm also confused. Hey guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you stayed all the way till the end, despite the garbage quality that it was, you're a real one, okay? Um, like and subscribe. I love subscriptions. I love subscribers. It's and you'll get five hundred dollars in the under your pillow within the next four seconds if you subscribe right now. I, this is not fake, not a lie. I am one hundred percent serious. All right, bye guys. Stay healthy.